Next, uh, we have an 81 year old gentleman uh, presented with obstructive jaundice. Uh, CT of the abdomen showed a markedly dilatation of the bilateral IHDs with a concentric wall thickening involving hepatic ductal conference. And the RCP has been performed showing 3 centimeter long structure uh, involving the right IHD and also hilar region. And uh, we put on a plastic stand, uh, 10 French and 13 centimeter. And uh, we felt a left duct cannulation. So, this is the picture. Uh, so, we are going to do EUS. Uh, and uh, HGS uh, plus or minus higher uh, SAMS. Uh, I will perform the ES guy hepatic gastro. I already removed the the uh, plus tent is, is by trans papillary, and uh, before hepatic gastro, I so explained there is the optimal access point for hepatic gastrostomy with trans mirror drainage. So as you can see, this is a US part, and there's a market dialect duct here, right? Then. You can check the photo, free country. There's a, this is a good location. Sometimes the US part is so far away from like this one. Mm. At the time, it's not good, right? Yeah. Then you can check the photo, free country, and then this one is very good. Mm -hmm. And then stomach and, and the stomach and uh, the puncture portion is a sometimes we have, we have a, a fixed portion as a right angle is very important for the pushability. At the time, mm -hmm. we have uh, fixed the right and left uh, knob and, and over, uh, over the uh, big wheel also fixed. So then we have checked uh, which one is better. Uh, as you can see, this duct is much dilated, this one. And I think maybe transmural stomach to the uh, dilated duct less than so 3 cm is much better. This one is uh, now Duct one, uh, yeah. Then bioduct looks like uh, over the one yeah, centimeter. Yeah, so five millimeter is a much better for uh, drain. So we think is that this is the best access point because it is very close to the stomach to the bioduct. Mm -hmm. Then we can check the there is the Doppler. Yeah, there is the intervening vessel right there. There is the minimal intervening best here. So I had to perform the, it's the 19 gauge needle, first one. Mm -hmm. So uh, is it only the size that's only a consideration? Do you, uh, you puncture the which segment ducts or uh, you, you have any pre preference? Right. So uh, recently I prefer the uh, possibly the peripheral duct, but sometimes it's difficult because we're using 19 gauge needle. Because mm -hmm. the uh, if, even though we have a good access point, after it's uh, uh, insert of the needle inside of the echoendoscope, there is uh, sometimes far away from the sub access point because there is a stiff needle, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe uh, the possible chance of the so far away from the stomach and by the, as like this one. And I engagement of the needle, there's a little bit change of the position. Yeah. And then I have a fixed uh, small wheel, big wheel already have. Then I use the medical of 19 gauge mm -hmm. needle. How about segment two? This is segment three ducts and segment two ducts. Do you make a difference, a uh, distinction? Basically, I prefer the B3 portion, yeah. but it's sometimes difficult. Yeah. Because there's intervening best there. Mm -hmm. So I perform the puncture here. Yeah. Then we are check the aspiration mark first one. Mm -hmm. So uh, usually we prefer B3 because uh, if you puncture through B2, sometimes there's a chance of uh, causing me the sinusitis as well. Right. Yes. So yeah. So uh, this duct is very dilated. It's too easy yeah, for you. Yeah. Right. Then by here, then injection. Yeah. Please. Some whitish, uh, yeah, whitish bile. So yeah. uh, maybe a prolonged obstruction. Yeah. Then. X-ray. The X-ray. Okay. Yeah, mm. it's a market dilate. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, looks like a PC, right? I think. And then I using I use the visible um, light, mm -hmm. five. And pre uh, I prefer the position controlled guideline manipulation. It means mm -hmm. uh, I Oops. control uh, guideline manipulation by myself. So my assistant nurse is uh, some very so stressful, right? Right? Because uh, we have uh, some enjoyed some dinner. 
yesterday, so we have uh, some hangover, right? <laughs> so, so you drank too much last night. Yeah. <laughs> so I use the Visiglide Auto 5. Uh, here, sometimes it's the uh, Gaidua, it's so, so, so it's uh, going the going to peripheral. Yeah, right. Yeah. At the time, using the we have a uh, river infection technique is the uh, Gaidua need a little bit withdrawal here, right? Yeah. It's like this one. Then we have uh, again, yeah. manipulate here. Yeah. It's like this one. Nice. Then looping technique is uh, important. Sometimes we can check the guide wire through the uh, hallum, through mm. the transpapillary, sometimes possible, but this patient is a very difficult Seems one. Seems like very tight yeah. at the high level. Then we have a change of the, the withdrawal of the needle. Okay. Then we are using the uh, one-step device. Yep. For standard deployment, scope should be uh, fixed, and there is no change of yep. the score here, as like this one. So you keep the wire in the USV, right? Right. This is the wire, so you have to keep the wire in view because uh, your in stand, uh, direction of stand insertion will be at the same direction yeah. as your, your wire. Then Do you want to yeah. introduce your stand yeah. a little bit? Yeah. Uh, this one is... Okay, we have the external yeah. view. Yeah. So um, yeah. you said one step uh, insertion. So normally if you insert a stand, how many steps do you need? Maybe, maybe two or three. So no, usually we need a systotome, six yeah. French, yeah. and then followed by so, uh, uh, insertion of the stand. Sometimes right. you need a balloon as well. Right, right. So uh, with this device, so now you only uh, put in a needle and then uh, yeah. exchange with the stand directly. Right. So there's a tapered tip. Yeah. You can see in the tip, there's a tapered tip. So it's a metal tip. It makes uh, insertion of the stand uh, delivery system very easy. Yeah. So basically this is a, a push type dilator with a uh, three French uh, taper catheter with a uh, four French metal tip. Mm. And this one is the uh, uncurved portion in the intra IDUC portion, 1.5 cm. Mm -hmm. Remaining is uh, fully curved and distal part has uh, uh, anti-migrating flap. So and, and you use the same stand for C uh, color A little bit different design yeah. for the taper tip, but there is a more it's a needle type in the color duodenostomy. Okay. Then stand should be, is a, uh, uh, we are deploy the intra-channel release technique mm -hmm. for stand deployment. Mm -hmm. Scope should be fixed and a little bit push is better for yeah. because uh, it's very important. Sometimes uh, we are lost the uh, some root of a line. Yep. Sometimes. Yep. Uh, already there. Yep. So release. Okay. So the stand is inside the yep. bow ducts. Release. Okay. Then. So Stent should be uh, released in the inside of the channel. This stent length is uh, uh, 10 cm. 10 cm stent, right? Yeah. Okay. So is there an uncovered portion? Yeah. Is uh, Can yeah. you slow it down a little bit? Show us the uncovered portion. Yeah. This uh, uncovered portion is uh, 1.5 cm. Okay. So uh, if you can see it, there's a mark on X-ray in the distal, uh, close to the end of the stent. Uh, showing the uncovered portion, and yeah. this is to help to maintain the position of the uh, the stand. Yeah, then okay. uh, stand is fully deployed. So inside you deployed the inside the channel, yeah. right? Then our uh, scope is withdraw slowly, mm -hmm. slowly. Okay. So what are you doing now? You're withdrawing and pushing the stand at the same time, right? Yeah, and then we have a uh, uh, push the introduce also. Okay. Here and you push the flap. Yeah. Okay. So you can see a uh, anti migratory flap. Yeah. Right there, yeah. and then uh, finish. Yeah, yeah. because uh, intragastric portion uh, over 3 cm is uh, much better because yeah. uh, this kind of stent pass up a chance of the migration mm -hmm. in the intraperitoneal. So I think uh, this uh, length is uh, should be fine. That is very nice. Yeah. So yeah. Park is always uh, too fast, so we need yeah. to chase yeah. ERCP chase park. him all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Every time I think the inter uh, US gabriel is more most more faster. Yeah, so you would you suggest uh, Neuhaus to learn US drainage? <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. uh, we're gonna change the ERCP and then uh, put in a left sided uh, metal stand, a uh, right sided metal stand. Hello, yes. hello. Yes. We are with yeah. you. Now it's a change of the scope, it's an ERCP uh, duodenal scope, and the scope is position is a uh, short scope position. And so I try the uh, HALA SAMS in the right and right. Right, uh, anterior and posterior duct. So, okay. 
This is uh, using Bisglide. Uh, so, can I use the contrast? Uh, for uh, it's inject of the hara tumor, sometimes possible chance of the cholangitis. So, and then, so I think the so guide wire passing through the structure is the most important. So, it's like this one, and in that inject of contrast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, marked it. It looks like right anterior dot, right? Uh, yeah. I think. Okay? Yeah, I think so. Guide wire. Where is the guide wire? Okay. Then I'm not sure this is, uh, where is the right posterior duct? Yeah, okay. Guide wire? Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Then I try the right posterior also, try. Because uh, this patient, very older patient, yes. uh, there's some pussies there, right? Okay. Yeah. Then I use the another catheter for the right posterior cannulation. So, so you're gonna try yeah. to put in a metal stand in both anterior and posterior, is it? Yeah. Even though we have failed the right duct uh, cannulation, we are using the uh, large cell design of the uncovered stent. We can cannulate uh, with the, the future re-intervention through the percutaneous or uh, another endoscopic session. Uh, most likely, this patient has a uh, right posterior, should be is, uh, inferior over the right anterior duct, but sometimes right posterior duct may be uh, drained from the left duct, as a very sometimes difficult one. Yeah, okay. So, uh, sometimes we use the, okay, okay, right, right. This one is, uh, right, okay. Looks like a posterior branch, not sure. Okay, I'll try. Inject. Yep. Right. Now this patient has a left duct, a right posterior that range from the left duct. Looks like uh, there is a posterior duct. Okay. Guide more. Push, push. Yeah. Could you more the flat patient for because uh, sometimes. Right posterior duct, yeah, it's a more prone position. Is is okay? Okay. Okay. Right, right. It's better, right? Oh, very nice. Very nice. There is the very structure is very tight. Mm. I think posterior duct is uh, okay. Inject contrast. Okay, so I tried the right posterior first, then we have tried the right anterior duct, the second yeah. one, okay? Yeah. Uh, I think it's the ACM. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, need a wire. Wire, please. More, 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 more. Has it moved? Yeah. Okay. There is sometimes a looping technique may be useful for the, uh, yeah, it's out, okay? Okay, it's better, it's better, okay? Then I try the right posterior first one, mm -hmm. then, oh, it's a, uh, hmm. now it's right anterior guide wire is now, <laughs> is a little bit, yeah, slippery. I think you can still proceed yeah. with uh, yeah. the posterior sure. stenting and First one, right. yeah, because it okay. uh, seems like the anterior duct is easy to go into. Yeah, that's true. So you're going to put a Y stent into the right anterior and posterior duct yeah. using what system? Yeah, so this one is a uh, Taeyong LCD type, means a uh, very large cell, mm -hmm. because, uh, uh, but in my experience, there is a 
two kind of diameters, eight millimeter, ten millimeter. Yeah. I recommend the ten millimeter because okay. uh, sometimes the eight millimeter is a little bit a higher yeah. chance of the tumor in growth. Tumor sometimes. In growth. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so you make all this uh, very difficult procedures uh, look so easy, yeah? Not so easy, yeah. Huh? <laughs> very difficult one. This one. Eh? Uh, I first one is the right posterior stenting. Uh, uh, this diameter is uh, 10 millimeter, right? And length is uh, uh, ACM. 8 centimeters, yes. Yeah. Do you sometimes dilate before you insert the stent? Yeah, sure. But uh, it's my feeling is it looks okay. Mm -hmm. So I, without dilation, I try the transpapular stenting. It's a very acute. Yeah, very acute. Sometimes I using the right turn as like this one. It's a more easy one eh? yeah. for pushability. Yeah. But it's uh, we need uh, some muscle, right? Sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah. It uh, should be okay, right? I think it should be okay. Yeah? I mean, if you open it, it probably go forward okay. a bit more. Okay, please. Yeah. Yeah. Now is the uh, stenting is a little hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Now stent is uh, position is uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. In position. Is yeah. the wire too too deep? Yeah. So okay. Then we are changing the we are insert the cannula again. Mm -hmm. Then we are try the right anterior cannulation with this guide wire. Okay. 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 Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. So, guide wire is now is successfully uh, inside of the right anterior duct, and nice, I using nice. the is a barrel is the right anterior right posterior duct using LCD and a second stent now using I I will use the uncovered wall flex stent. So you know it's a it's a very higher chance of the it's a prevent of the tumor in growth than LCD. I think this is maybe good. Combination with the LCD with the wall flex uncurved, right? Okay. Now it's I stand in the inside of the stand, uh, stand in stand technique. Uh, yeah. But now it's a uh, scope. Uh, changing the. Uh, okay, sure. So follow. Yeah. Second one here. What? Wow. Then list. So you don't have to dilate the uh, LCD uh, yeah, uh, sure. stand, right? Yeah. Okay. Release, release, release. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay. Uh, looks like your stent is uh, uh, nice position. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Deploy. 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 Okay. Yeah. Done. So any question or comment? It's uh, uh, sometimes uh, stent inside of the papilla is no problem uh, because uh, some, some endoscope paste uh, wants to the more uh, uh, prevent of duodenal bilateral reflux. Yeah. Maybe stent inside of the uh, yeah. above papilla sometimes yeah. prefer, right? Yeah. Uh, looks like uh, I performed the U.S. hepatic gastro with the uh, uh, hyala SAMS. And there is a uh, uh, hepatic gastro. It's good. Yeah. Now it's uh, Contrast is the runoff. Yeah. So uh, it's a complete drainage of all the systems. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very nice. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.